Um, my name is Edward Bitarakwate, and I'm the country director uh, for Uganda. Um, a mother who has both syphilis and HIV is at a much higher risk of transmitting HIV to her unborn child. Um, and, and so you, you, you now have a baby with syphilis and HIV. The prevalence in Uganda now is around 3% in the general population. Um, and uh, however, when we look at subpopulations, it's, it's a little bit higher in the women than in the men. Uh, one of the findings of the study was that syphilis is indeed a problem amongst uh, women coming into the antenatal clinic. Um, the study also showed that we are not doing enough to test and detect syphilis in this population. The study, on the other hand, uh, also showed that if you provided testing for syphilis in the antenatal clinic, uh, we were able to do uh, good HIV testing, not only for the women, but even the men. So we saw more men coming into the clinics, accompanying their women, and accepting to test for both syphilis and HIV once we provided this additional service. What we did was to, to try and bring in a new service without distorting uh, you know, the other services that were being provided in the clinics. With the advent of the rapid HIV test, we, over the years we've seen many more people accessing HIV testing but also being treated uh, initiating treatment you know very quickly because the test is done quickly and results provided on the same day so 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 we thought that by by bringing in the syphilis rapid syphilis test um, we would benefit from the same efficiency in 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 term in terms of turnaround time from testing to results and treatment that we saw with the HIV test so so we designed it so that with one blood draw we would be able to, to do the rapid test for HIV and the rapid test for syphilis side by side and provide results to this individual, to this couple on the same day. A lot of the study was looked at the feasibility of doing that uh, in a way that is still acceptable to the health workers without increasing the workload, in a way that it doesn't increase the client waiting times. but. Most importantly, being able, if, if an individual is found to be syphilis positive, infected with syphilis, being able to treat them on that very same day, to start it on that same day. It's, it's, it's motivating, but it just makes the quality of health care all, you know, all, all, all better. It's, it's, it's better by being able to do that. The early stages of syphilis, syphilitic infection, just require uh, one dose of an injection, of a penicillin injection. It's a long-acting penicillin. If you catch it early in, in a pregnant woman, you break the transmission cycle, she'll have a healthy baby. If she's HIV positive, it reduces the, the risks of her unknowingly transmitting HIV from herself to the newborn baby. And you have a happy mother and a happy baby and father at the end of the day.